Now we're gonna be making the shoes for the Harley Quinn costume. So I can do the shoes a few ways. I'm gonna show you a really simple way and then a little more detailed way. So for the more simple way, I'm gonna be using ballerina flats. First thing I did was take off any embellishments. Um, it had a bow right here, so I just cut that thing off. And to cover these, what I literally did was just take my bodysuit and cut the foot off and slip the ballerina shoe into the pocket. So this is the foot from the red bodysuit side. Um, the seam is on the side. I literally just cut a hole in it and slip the shoe in there. After I cut the slipper off the foot, I needed to make this little elf cuff thing that goes around her shoe. So this is pretty much just a circle of fabric with a fin on the edge, and then I cut a circle in it. And then taking the cover for the shoe, I sewed this little circle, the fin, to the back section right here. And I just take my shoe and I slip it inside. Ta-da! That's a really simple way to cover a shoe. So here is the first technique of the shoes finished. You can see they still fit very well. You can see the bump of where I cut off the bow and the edge of the ballerina slipper. And that's what I was trying to avoid with the second round of shoes. The fin is fairly small. You can't really tell it's there, especially since it's behind my leg. And I only sewed on the back as I showed you. The front is loose. That way this is can stretch to my foot. But because the fin is thick, it hides the gap there. This is a really good shoe covering, um, but for the second style, I'm gonna show you how to make a little more detailed shoe that closely follows the design of the cartoon. These are the shoes I'm going to be using. They were kind of Sally shoes. I don't know, but I like the point of the toe. It's gonna kind of give me that gestury look. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is remove any laces or anything that you're going to be able to see underneath the fabric. Okay, And this tongue is also going to be useless as well, so I'm going to cut it off. Ta-da! I really like the shape of the shoe because looking at my reference photo, it really has the shape of the shoe she's drawn with. We're going to be able to sew the fin right on the edge, make it big and pronounced, and it's going to have that V look, whereas with my ballet flat, it was a circle. B, circle. So I placed this shoe sideways on the fabric and I am tracing around with some chalk the shape of the shoe. Okay, so I traced the bottom of my shoe on my fabric for a template to put on the bottom. And then the size of the template ended up like this. They're gonna vary on the shape of your shoe, but once you have both of them, go ahead and sew them together and then we'll adjust them on your shoe. So my toe is way too pointy, I'm just going to sew that down right there. And everything else looks really good. Okay, so this is what my altered shoe looks like. It's got the same shape, it's got a little pointy toe, which I absolutely love. So once you're happy with the shape, we're going to sew the fin on. Okay, so this is the shape of my fin. I cut it out on a hem. So this is essentially the back of the fin that's going to go off of my ankle. So once you're satisfied with your fin design, cut out two and then sew the backs together. And while I have this shape, I cut out the same thing in the black for the black shoe. So I sewed the back fin part together. Don't confuse it with the front, make sure you know what the fin is. I'm going to turn it right side out. So the fin should now look like this. I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch the two pieces together so it lays flush. So now that it's complete, I did a really small straight stitch along the edge and it has the clear fish line thread on the top. And then to sew the fin to the booty, I'm gonna start at the heel at the very top of the back seam. So that is my origin point in the very back. I pinned the booty on the outside, the fin is tucked in. Started there, I wrapped around the edge and I had to fold in the top a bit to get the right shape. And then whatever left over, I just tucked into the B portion. Same thing with the other side. And then I'm just gonna top stitch it really close to the edge on the outside. Okay, so you can see this is the finished booty. The fin is attached 
to the slipper and it can either be left up like this or it could be folded down. I do want to mention that as I'm doing the fin on the black booty, um, since the material is a little more flexible than the red, I did have to add some stiffener inside of the black one so it would actually stand up and be, well it's not standing up now, but so it'll actually stand up on my heel. Here's the second version of the shoes. And actually, because I still wear these shoes underneath, I just take this edge and fold it under. That way you can't see it. So I like this design a lot better. The fin is really large and you can actually see it. They're comfy, they have a little point at the toe and they're cute. And they're a lot easier to wear and more comfortable as well. So here are my finished Harley Quinn shoes. I like the shape of them a little better. They're a little more detailed and the shape more follows the sketch of the cartoon. The last thing I want to make note of is the bottoms do get worn out very quickly. So for my old shoes, what I bought was this grip tape. You're supposed to put it on cars, like on the railing of where you step up onto your car. I think I bought it at the auto store. That's what I step on the bottom. And it worked to keep the fabric from wearing out, but it was really slippery. So other than that, I've yet to find something to stick on the bottom of them. You're going to have to use kind of your own creativity and experimentation there. So that is the end of my tutorial.